Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. The BC public health order that restricts all indoor social gatherings and all events of any size was extended another month this week after Dr. Bonnie Henry determined COVID-19 case numbers, hospitalization rates and daily deaths have not dropped enough to allow for a relaxing of the measures. The order was first put in place in November with a planned expiration on December 7th. That was then extended to, to January 8th, but the order will now remain in place until at least February 5th. These orders enable our healthcare system, our schools, our essential workplaces to continue to stay open. This is important for all of us, for our mental, physical and emotional health. As of Friday, there are 6,118 active cases in BC, 358 of whom are hospitalized. A Kelowna nurse died at Big White last weekend after she, she became trapped in a tree well. Police reported the death of 57-year-old Carrie Koski on Monday after she went missing at the ski resort the previous Saturday. By the time she was found in a tree well, she had died. Koski is survived by her husband, five children and grandchildren. Two people were fatally stabbed on Highway 3 near Creston Wednesday evening, prompting a short manhunt in the Kootenays. But that search ended when police found the body of the man believed responsible for the killings in Salmo Thursday morning. Police said the suspect left the scene of the double homicide in one of the victim's cars before ditching it in Salmo. While police did not say how the suspect died, they said criminality is not suspected. The motive for the double murder is not known, but police said all three people involved were known to each other. Property assessments in BC came out this week, and a home in Lake Country has now taken the top spot as highest assessed property in the Okanagan. The home at 12290 Pixton Road, north of Okanagan Centre, was assessed at $10,741,000, dethroning the Rock House on Kelowna's Hobson Road that has taken the top spot in past years. Property values increased across all of the Thompson Okanagan, but the largest increases were seen in more rural areas. And a unique duck has been making a splash at Kelowna's Hall Road Pond in recent weeks. I often walk here with my son and we play a game where the first one to spot him yells, got it! Everybody that comes to the pond comes here to visit him. Honeysuckle is a muscovy, a type of duck that was originally domesticated in Colombia and Peru. He loves peas and blueberries. He, he is friendly, but he has a tendency to bite, so make sure that you're wearing thick clothing. But don't really feed him any bread or anything like that, because that'll upset his stomach. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.